Uh, Leo, I've heard you speak several times about no tax increases. Pretty firm on that. But in these times of declining revenue, how do we support government services unless we can raise some kind of taxes or fees? Well, it's a, it's a common misconception that was, was proven most aptly in 1960 by, by uh, uh, President Kennedy that when you increase taxes, particularly on uh, entities that employ folks, your revenues actually decline. You, you, as soon as as soon as Kennedy put in his his uh, tax reduction plans, the actual the economy started growing and everybody started paying more taxes. So it's one of those kind of situations where it's extremely difficult under these circumstances to try to tax people who are trying to put people to work and basically trying to stay in business. If you go around and talk to any businessman in town, myself included, and anybody else I know of. Their revenues are off anywhere from 30 to 70 percent. If you add an additional tax to somebody, for instance, the most onerous one would be where, whereby you you tax the person for hiring somebody. That's what we do in this state. If you hire people, you have to pay a little extra tax for it. Doesn't sound like much, but by the time you get done with everything that everybody charges you, it winds up being a lot. So I'm, I, I don't think we have a tax problem nearly as much as we have a spending problem. I think uh, the revenues will come back when the economy comes back. So we've got to let the people with the guts, determination, and vision, and hard work take care of that angle. And I see my sign back there, so I get to quit now. Okay. <laughs>